Today, we're going to be looking at every crazy glitch, cheat, bug, or whatever you want to call it that exists in the Swarm's Battlegrounds. And as you all know, there has been many different types of bugs and glitches in this game over the past couple of months. There is glitches like turning the map into nighttime, getting an infinite kill streak, and even going invisible in a public server. And before I show you guys these glitches, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe. And with that being said, let's get right into glitch number one. And real quick before we get into this video, I'm actually working on a brand new Battlegrounds game on Roblox with a couple of friends. This game is called a spat of battlegrounds and it's a bleach themed battlegrounds game make sure you guys go ahead and check it out i'm gonna have the game's link and the game's discord server in the description down below so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out and play it as well all right so have you ever wondered how this game would look like if it was nighttime because as you guys know the time and the weather in this game has always been the same and to do this glitch you're gonna need to use tatsumaki and once you have tatsumaki equipped what you want to do is actually grab a random person or the weakest dummy and actually go on top of the mountains so let me go ahead and just make my way on top of the mountains real quick and now i'm gonna go ahead and teleport the weakest dummy. So let me go ahead and teleport him real quick. And there we go. And what you want to do next is actually go ahead and give yourself your ultimate mode, all right? Uh, let me go ahead and just back away because I don't want to throw him off the map. So you pretty much just want to give yourself your ultimate mode. And once you have your ultimate mode, what you want to do is actually go up to the weakest dummy and use Terrible Tornado. Once you have him Terrible Tornado, you want to just jump off the map like this. And uh, once you jump off the map, you should be able to get the map into nighttime. And oh my god, bro, it's pitch black. Okay, dude, I literally cannot see a thing right now. I literally just see the leaderboard because it has like white writing over there. Yeah, it's really dark, man. You can like barely see my shirt. I'm gonna go in and search up a flashlight in my... Oh, there's actually a flashlight. Okay, let me go ahead and put this on. Hey, oh, oh my god, bro. Okay, this is actually straight up from a horror movie, bro. Um, so yeah, if you guys were ever wondering if you can make the map nighttime, you could by doing this glitch. And by nighttime, I mean like pitch black. But anyways, I think we're ready for glitch number two. All right, so this nice glitch actually allows you to go invisible in public servers. And the way you do this is by using the Suryu moveset. And there's actually only two ways to go invisible with Suryu. So the first way is the one that everybody knows about. And that is pretty much giving yourself no cooldown and 10 times attack speed. So pretty much everybody in the their mom knows about this glitch uh you can literally just keep spamming vanish and kick over and over again with those settings on and as you can see i'm invisible but the problem is this invisible glitch only works in private servers if you guys want to know how to turn invisible in a public server i would suggest you guys to keep watching this because i'm about to show you how so the second way of going invisible with suryu that actually does work in public servers as well is something with your ultimate mode and you actually need two people for this all right for testing reasons i'm about to go ahead and join on my alt account and we're about to test this all right all right so here i have my alt account and um as you can see my boy is looking mad drippy so pretty much what you want to do is have two people that have Suryu's moveset which is the martial artist so i have martial artist on my alt account right now and i also have it on my account like that i'm playing on right now and pretty much what you want to do is make sure both of you guys have your ultimate on so i'm gonna go ahead and just give myself ultimate on both accounts i'm just gonna show you guys first and then explain it afterwards i think that's the best way to, to explain this okay so i'm gonna go ahead and use my ultimate on both accounts now so let me go ahead and do that real quick i'm using my ultimate on this account and i'm also using it on that account as well all right so pretty much what you want to do is have your friend that is also with you use their third move of series ultimate mode which is called the earth splitting strike my alt account over there is going to be using earth splitting strike on me and mid animation he's pretty much just going to leave the game and now i use earth splitting strike on the dummy there we go so it does take a couple of times for it to work but if you're lucky sometimes it works on the first try i don't think it worked this time but um pretty much what you have to do is just keep doing this a couple of times and obviously you can also do this in public server until you actually get it so i didn't get it this time but we're about to go ahead and try this one more time and and hopefully I get it this time, all right? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Ladies and gentlemen, I have actually turned invisible. And as you guys can see, I literally don't have any private server settings on at all. So you can actually do this in the public server. It's probably going to take a little bit longer because you need to get your ultimate mode over and over again. But as you guys can see, this does work. And you can actually do this in a public server, all right? So make sure you guys do this at your own risk because uh, people are probably going to think you're a hacker and report you. And uh, you don't want to get bad, okay? All right, so the next glitch that we have here is actually a pretty recent one. And this one actually allows you to have an infinite kill streak. And um, I'm pretty sure everybody has heard about this already but in case you guys have not pretty much what you want to do is actually go into your private server and go into build mode once you're in build mode literally just put down a random block and go into the configuration of that block and go into gear spawner once you're in gear spawner what you want to do is search up zombie and you're pretty much going to see a bunch of stuff over here so we got zombie hunter zombie spring zombie friend what you want to select is zombie staff once you have that done you're good to go literally just close off build mode and go up to the block and as you guys could see anytime i touch the block now it's pretty much going to be giving me an item called the 
zombie staff, all right? As you can see, I literally have a bunch of them now. And pretty much what you want to do is uh, spawn in zombies, all right? So literally just use all the staffs you have to spawn in the zombies, just like so. Oh my God, bro, why, why does it sound like they're farting? Um, okay, as you can see, we have Stud's family behind us, and we're able to, like, do some brutality, okay? What you want to do now is actually very simple. You just pretty much want to go ahead and put your damage up. So I'm going to go ahead and put my damage multiplier to 5. Once you have that done, all you got to do is go in the middle and use the third move. And as you guys can see, I murdered every single one of them. Okay, maybe not every single one, but I murdered almost all of them, all right? And as you can see, I have a 29 kill streak. And you can pretty much just keep doing this over and over and over again. And to speed things up, you can also give yourself no cooldown, so you can literally just do this you can literally just do this and just abuse them all right so as you can see i now have a 64 kill streak and if we look into the chat oh my god look at the chat bro i started off with 10 kills 15 20 25 and now we have 60 so like i did say guys you could do this like over and over and over again until you're fully satisfied so it's pretty much infinite you could get an infinite kill streak in your private server okay but with that glitch out the way let's move on to the next glitch that we have on our list here and this nice glitch actually allows you to become a trap can. And yes, you heard that correctly. You can literally become one of these things over here, bro. All right, you could literally become a trash can. And the way you do this glitch is uh, by going invisible. And I'm not talking about the invisible glitch that we just did. We're going to be doing the good old fashioned Siryu vanishing kick glitch. And obviously, like I did say earlier, guys, the way you do this is by putting on no cooldown and putting your attack speed to max. Once your attack speed is on max, you're pretty much good to go. You literally just, just spam just spam vanishing kick. All right. Once you spam it like 10 times, you should be invisible. And uh, pretty much from here, what you want to do is go up to a trash can all right you go up to the trash can and you pick it up and now we have a floating trash can and this is not the glitch yet so pretty much from here go into the settings thing again and go into build mode and then press it on and then press it off and ladies and gentlemen as you guys can see i am quite literally a trash can all right yeah man if you actually wanted to troll your friends or like pretend you're invisible and like spy on them you can literally just turn yourself into a trash can and like spy on anybody in your private server okay all right so the next glitch that we have here is actually having infinite aura you know me, I already have infinite aura, but uh, okay, I'm just joking. But pretty much for this glitch, what you want to do is actually go ahead and use a character that has aura, like their ultimate mode has aura. And as you guys know, Garu has aura. Um, who else has aura? Metal Bat has aura. Tatsumaki has aura. So pretty much any character that's ultimate mode has aura, you can do this glitch with. And um, you know, to start off with, we're gonna be starting off with Garo. So let me go ahead and switch to Garo. And pretty much what you want to do is size yourself down to 0.1. And as you guys can see, I'm literally a midget. Okay, I'm even worse than a midget, bro. I'm literally an ant. And pretty much once you're this size, what you want to go ahead and do is just activate your ultimate mode so let me go and just give myself ultimate mode and use it real quick as you guys can see i have alt and now what i want to do is just size myself back to what i usually was which was one so size one and as you guys can see i have an insane amount of aura all right this is insane wait hold on let me let me do a pose real quick bro hold on yo i'm hitting the deal pose in the aura this is cold this is actually so cold but it's very laggy oh my god my pc my pc is lag. Oh my god, bro. This one is actually so much cooler than the Garo one. And this one is actually so much cooler. So, like I did say, guys, you can pretty much do this with every character that has aura. And um, other than that, bro, this is literally killing my frames. My frames are dying. My PC is burning. Like, I don't know what's going on. Okay, there we go. Uh, now that the lag is gone, I think we're ready to move on to the next glitch. And this next glitch is actually one that you could use in a public server as well. And for this glitch, what you want to do is actually go into Saitama. And pretty much what you want to do is go ahead and give yourself your ultimate mode. And from here, what you want to do is actually use omnidirectional punch on somebody that is standing in front of you while you're on top of a trash can. So I'm literally standing on top of a trash can and I'm going to be using my omnidirectional punch on the weakest dummy while I'm on top of the trash can. And pretty much what this does is it makes you go invisible again. Uh, well, not invisible, but... Oh, wait, I did go invisible. Oh my god, what is going on? Where did the dummy go? The dummy's not even in the sky. Yeah, as you guys can see, this glitch is very weird. And then I just teleport out of nowhere, and the weakest dummy... Wait, what? How is he back? Oh, there's two? Why is there two weakest dummies? I literally just joined this public server. I think I just found a new glitch. The weakest dummy duplication glitch. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty weird, bro. So that glitch is done. The next glitch that we actually have on our list here is actually a pretty weird one. So as you guys know, there's an emo called Road Trip, and it's pretty much you driving a little car. And um, you could pretty much break the animations. 
very simply by actually using the emote and then just blocking it. As you can see, I literally broke it already. And uh, yeah, man, you literally look like you're, yeah, it's, it's super weird, bro. Look at this, man. So you're literally driving a car or it's an invisible car, I should say. You're driving an invisible car and you can actually use your attacks and stuff. So I could like literally go ahead and, uh, you know, beat people up and stuff. It's a very easy glitch to do and it just it just looks weird. I think I think that's the best way to explain it, bro. All right, but other than that, ladies and gentlemen, that has pretty much been every working glitch in the strongest battlegrounds. And if you guys know any other glitches that you want me to check out, drop them down in the comments down below and I'll definitely do a part two to this. But um, thank you guys for watching the video all the way to the end and I'll see you guys all in the next video.